Hello travelers, today we're taking a look at the Outlier Ultra Fine Merino Wool T-shirt. I did do a previous review or kind of more like a hands-on back in 2016, but I ended up returning the shirts before I really had a chance to test them out fully. So this is the full review of them. And I'd like to thank Sean at Outlier for sending me out the shirts for the review. So I decided to go for the forest green color and both the extra small and the small size. Before I've always usually gone with an extra small, but I have found that every now and then with sizing I sometimes fit a small better. So I asked those of you who follow me on Instagram, which is at packingless by the way, and 58% preferred the small size version. But then when I posted this picture on my Instagram wearing the size small, some people said that the size looked a bit too big. I can see how the length makes my body look a bit small, but this small size fits my shoulders a bit better than the extra small. You can see here the extra small feels a touch tight in the shoulders, but it is nicer through the length of the body. Do let me know in a comment below though which size you think fits me better or that you think suits me better. I'd be very interested to know what your thoughts are. But I guess overall both sizes actually can work in different situations. It depends on the look you're going for. So I'd say size down for a more slim or athletic fit and probably go with your regular size for a more regular style fit. The merino wool used in these shirts is a 17.5 micron Mackenzie merino jersey that comes from New Zealand. It's 195 GSM weight fabric, and it's a nice balance of not too heavy and not too light. Personally, I find the 195 GSM very comfortable in the summer and as a base layer in the winter, but some people find it a little bit heavy for summer. It's extremely soft and breathes very well. I did also have a chance to try the Goswick 15.5 micron merino wool, and it's very noticeable how much softer the 15.5 is than the 17.5. Most brands that use merino will use 18.9 micron or 18 or above and it's quite noticeable how much softer the 17.5 is than the 18.9. So depending on how soft you like your merino, I would suggest going for either the Goswick for the softest or the ultrafine merino wool for a really nice balance in between. The price of the ultrafine merino is 120 US dollars or 178 Australian, which for the quality of the fabric is a great price. I've tried cheaper and lower quality merino when I first started getting to merino wool. Having tried many brands and qualities, I can say that you definitely get what you pay for. I should also mention that it's quite important to take care of your merino wool garments, so I'd suggest storing it in an airtight bag when you take it off. The bags that Outlier ships items in work very well. Like this bag my Supermarine cotton cap came in, it's got a nice little zip lock and airtight seal. And if you're going to be washing it the next day, I'd suggest maybe putting it in the dry bag and sealing it up. This just goes towards protecting it from bugs and moths that tend to like eating merino wool or other natural fibers. I have actually had that happen to some of my other merino wool gear, so I always store them in airtight containers to protect them. Now these can be washed in a washing machine or hand washed. Personally, I wash them in the washing machine when I'm at home and I hand wash them while traveling. A really nice, soft and durable merino wool t-shirt that I would suggest checking out if you're going to be buying a new piece of merino wool gear, or even if you're just getting into merino wool for the first time. It's made in the USA and has a lot of great colors and sizes available, and it will last for a very long time with proper care. So that's it, thanks for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments which of the two sizes you thought fit better. And be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.